this is the eighth video in a series of 10 tutorials on how to use the pen tool in Illustrator CC. In the last video, we began creating the B character by learning how to use shapes to build outlines and adjust them with our pen tool. In this video, we'll be learning how to use the curvature tool and understand how and when to use it and how to group objects together. I have a download link for this B character below, but if you're teaching graphic design, know that this video goes with the pen tool exercises to learn Illustrator tools unit at digitalartteacher.com. Check the info bar at the top of the screen for more teaching resources. Before we jump into the body, let's group the whole head and eyes together. Grouping just ensures that objects always stick together. They may, of course, be ungrouped and adjusted at any time. To group what we've done so far, select all the shapes and click Command G. You can also find this in the menu bar here. Now let's move on to the body. Again, there are several different options when it comes to accomplishing tasks in Illustrator. You can use the ellipse tool to make the basic shape and come back and adjust it. Or go old school and create the curves as you go. Or you can use the click and adjust later method. And for this shape, I would only use four anchor points. Now you may notice that I do have a very odd point right here. And again, I can go to this convert section and click on convert selected anchor points to smooth when I have it selected. Choose whatever method that seems best for you and we'll talk about adding those stripes. As a reminder, if you use the pen tool to adjust the points, use command to move points and handles and use Alt to either completely change your handles or to move them one at a time. Now for the stripes. We'll be switching to the Curvature tool. This tool is new to Illustrator CC, so if you're using CS6 or earlier, you'll just have to use the Pen tool. First, zoom in to where you see the outline of the body and to where that first stripe intersects the body. If you click on this place, you would not be creating a new line, but adding an anchor to the body outline. And since we have the curvature tool selected, it will also change the curve of the body as well, which is not what you're going for. So let's go ahead and undo that. Now when you click, click just to the outside of the body. Now zoom out so you can see the whole curve. We'll talk about why we're gonna click outside of the body here in a few minutes. When you begin using the curvature tool, it will look like a straight line, but as you continue to click, it will curve out to make a smooth curve. If your curve is not perfect, you can always undo and try your curve again, or you could switch to the pen tool and use Alt and Command to adjust the curve. Alt can be used to adjust individual curves simply by clicking in between the anchors and moving the curve. It may be a little tricky to see exactly where to click when using the curvature tool. It will take some practice to master it, 
Just remember that it is usually best to click where the curve seems to change. And command click to end your line. Once you have all of your curves in a satisfactory arrangement, you will need to learn how to make all these lines turn into the stripe shapes. With the selection tool, select both the body and all of your stripes. Go back to your Pathfinder panel and choose Divide. Now you should have five separate shapes, but they are grouped. In order to remove and or adjust each one, you'll need to use shift command G to ungroup them. Now they will be five separate shapes and you can select several at once to recolor them. You may want to find out what this color is right here. So I'll double click the head to enter isolation mode. And if I click in here, I can copy the color, command C, click OK, double click outside of the shape to exit isolation mode, hold down shift to select those two shapes. And there I have them. And of course you'll want to move all of these shapes to the back. So right click, arrange, and send to the back. To keep these shapes from moving as you continue to work, you can command G to group them. And once you're finished, you can move on to the next video. 